Sorry, we missed that. So that's not mine. <laughs> so, welcome to the Ages Tour, a scholarly communications time travel musical. Um, your cast today, in order of appearance, uh, while people are coming in, we have Jude Pereira and Romy Beard, and then uh, Heather Catula, uh, Robbie Vecca Tar Taramani, and uh, yours truly. So, a little caveat while we try to tie the eras in this musical to um, historical events, we didn't think you really wanted to be part of a research project, nor did I want to undertake one. So on the slides where something is real and not real, then you know we've indicated that. So keep an eye um, on the slides. There's a lot of like um, side jokes and, and Easter eggs um, on the slides, so uh, you may want to like uh, split your attention. Um, these are some quotes that I pulled up about time travel um, we weren't able to really work a lot of Doctor Who references or maybe any uh, necessarily into this one, so I think there's another musical uh, for, for the future um, to consider. So I'll be doing um, narration and playing some uh, characters as well. So without further ado, <laughs> I will present um, Act One, present day, outside the library director's office. University Press editorial director Scott Goodhart is waiting at the office of the university librarian, Prudentia Helvetica, who has called him to an emergency meeting. While he is waiting, he is approached by a young girl. Baby, you're Scott, right? Yes, do I know you? No, but I need to speak with you about something very important. You are the director of the press. I'm the editorial director. Maybe you want my colleague, Barbara. She's been the press director for a couple of decades at least. <sighs> It's only September 2024, my apologies. Whatever the case, you'll need to catch me there. I've got what it seems like a very important meeting with Rebecca Hamilton. Yes, I know, I asked her to set it up. I so hate to rush this, but time is short. I'm working on my student thesis on scholarly communications, namely why everyone is always so dismissal and pessimistic about it, and I need your help to complete it. Look, Miss. Josie, Josie Goodhart. Um, before we ask, you are, but we are related. I can't um, I can tell you exactly how, but I'm your descendant. My descendant? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm a time traveler, Scott. I'm a relative of yours from the future, 100 years from now, and I need your help to complete my thesis. Consider this. Someone, did someone put you there to, up to this? Is it a prank? I'm, I'm so confused. It's not a prank. Look, here. This is your watch. I bought it back with me to prove you that I'm telling the truth. Uh, so you have the same watch that doesn't prove anything? I'm really in a big hurry here. Yeah, yeah, I understand, and so am I. Um, your uncle gave you this watch, said it was his highest prized possession. You only wear it when you come to campus, so you don't have to check your phone for the time and look like a jerk. Your family thinks you're silly, but you insist. You worry that humans have lost their humanity by being glued to their screens. All stuff you could have heard or guessed. I mean, what are you writing? A reminder of something I need to go back to and do earlier. I mean, later, uh, never mind. Just look inside the back cover of that book in your hand. This book? Yeah. Why? No, just just do it. A unicorn bamboozled pop stars? What does that really mean? What does what what's that? No idea, but wait. One, three, two, one. Unicorn's bamboozled pop stars. What a day. When did this faux quidditch get so big on campus? Ah, bamboozled, yes. Sorry. I rushed over as you requested. I told this young lady that we had a meeting and she insisted that it was something to do with her. She certainly does. She's a time traveler, Scott. Come into my office. It's time for me to fill you in on a few things. Look, I, I don't know what kind of joke you think you're pulling on me, but... I'll be clear, or at least clearer. Your great, great, great something or other Josie can explain. Thanks. As I was saying, 
Writing my senior thesis project for my supervisor, schools got much more than gloom and doom. My dissertation charts the timeline shift, so I must trust and verify, not just assume. I should not be left to time travel devices, they come with prices and vices, let's avert a crisis. Tales of this time. <laughs> Don't wake up screaming from dreaming, one day you'll watch as I'm leaving, back to my timeline careening. For the last time. <laughs> it's me, I'm your descendant, it's me. I've come back to seek your expertise. Look to the past in hopes that trends will become ever clearer. So hard to stand before you, cause you've always been my hero. Woo! <laughs> There you are. All preparations are complete. Uh, who? What? I'm Taimo, short for Taimo, for our bureau, which is Japanese for time travel. And promise you'll never find another like me. Very pleased to finally meet you, Mrs. Scott. Josie, you're in. As I've mentioned many times, I'm working on my college thesis. It's about scholarly communications. I learned that many of the folks in it, no matter the time period in which they are working, seem unduly pessimistic. So I'm looking into why and hopefully how to turn that about. So we're going to take a little trip. Nice to meet you. Where you been? I will show you incredible thing. Travel backwards. Let's begin. Saw you there and I thought, oh my, look at that face. Will she make a big mistake? Time the game. <laughs> Want to play? With the past, you discover. Hope it's not going down in flames. You can tell me when it's over, if the timeline is maintained. Got a long list of researchers, hoping to they would ascertain. And you know I love to travel, just say the time frame. They're all young and they're reckless. They take this way too far. It'll leave you breathless, mm, or with a nasty scar. <laughs> I've got a long don't and don't list. Timeline I must maintain, but I've got a blank space, baby, and I will write your name. <laughs> Ready for imminent departure? Don't say I didn't say I didn't want ya. Say the word, I'll take you back farther. Don't say I didn't say I didn't want ya. <laughs> I don't <laughs> believe you. I don't believe time travel is possible, it's ridiculous. And what do you have to do with all of this? Scott, well, obviously librarians are the only ones who can be trusted to keep the information safe and secure. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said, just keep an open mind. Time out, where to first? Around 1600 or so, the printing press has been around for some 150 years in what in this time we call Europe. But it's taking a while for a book culture to take root for various reasons. I, I hate to be that person. I'm not going anywhere with you. Adorable, but you need to really calm down. We don't go like that. We just go. Here we go. Act two, Europe, around the year 1600, a dusty street, a woman pushes a cart laden with large volumes. I'm going this way, so I'm kind of forget. Bring out your books. Bring out your books. Bring out your books. Oh my. Hello. Greetings. Uh, we are. Messenger Guardian, come to speak with you. I don't believe in angels or guardians or messenger guardian angels. I'm more of a scientist. What do you think I'm doing with all these books? Ah, great, then uh, we are travelers through time. Can you believe in those? I'm more believable than angels. I'm <laughs> sorry. We're supposed to start with that explanation in this era. Hello, I'm Josie, and you are? Bertrand, Olivia Meredith Bertrand. So nice to meet you. I'm doing research on the history of scholarly communications. I understand that you are a central figure of critical importance. You must be in the wrong place, lady. See these imaginary books? 
Nobody wants to buy them. A lot of folks can't even read. But you want to know what the kicker is? Take a look at this. Biblioteca Universalis. I'm not familiar with it. I'm not surprised. There are too many books, I tell you. The Biblioteca Universalis by Conrad Gessner, published in 1545 in Zurich. The work, compiling titles from more than 3,000 authors, was intended to be a comp comprehensive list of works, extant and not, ancient and more recent, down to the present day, learned and not, published and hiding in libraries. There may be 3,000 authors, but there are more than 12,000 works I've counted. No person can read that many books. Not to mention you'd need to read Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. Enough already with the books. I guess information overload has been long been a thing I myself work for a publisher, a university press. Uh, good for you. <laughs> what else have you got in there? Let's see. I've got 1543 Copernicus, William Harvey on the circulation of the blood, and Galileo's The Starry Messenger. That one just came out. Amazing. So this year is... 1610. Oh, if you want something a bit more local, there's William Gilbert's De Magneta of the Earth. Ah, so we're in England then. Fascinating. So have you read all the books? Didn't I just say that nobody could read all these books? There aren't enough hours in the day. Be a rare bookseller, they say. Make sure the knowledge doesn't get lost, they say. I just may as well take these books and throw them into the river. Oh, please don't. Your cart full of priceless treasures. Knew it right away when I first saw you before my eyes and the flashback starts to stand in there. On a dusty street in summer air. <laughs> see the books, see the card, hear the call out, see you make your way through the crowd and say hello. Little did I know that you were on the go, you were selling rare books, and the people said, stay away, you charlatan. <laughs> and now I'm crying at the harbor, begging you, please don't stop. And I said, go forth, take them everywhere that you can roam. World is waiting, knowledge work is never done. Words I won't miss, and onward you must press. Please do the research, lady, just say yes. <laughs> outside of time and space. How do you do that then? About my favorite. <laughs> Should we be a bit more cagey about what we say so as to not destroy the integrity of the timeline? <laughs> you, Scott, watch too many movies. Our friend here won't remember this in Kangjo. If she does, she'll think it was a dream. But like a message for Steve Dunner of notice, the strong need to continue disseminating the rare books will stay with her. So I won't be able to pursue my dream to relocate to Portugal and become an itinerant beach dweller? Perhaps not, but if you sell enough books, maybe it could be your retirement money? Not sure of this mythical retirement of which you speak. Keep up the good work. How many books do you have in the time that you come from? More than 12,000, I guess. Many more, I'm afraid. People, they figured out how to read all these books? Not really. Figures. Well, gotta go. Enjoy your travels. Uh, would you like to take one for the road? No, Scott. I'm afraid you can't take anything of value with you or leave anything behind. Ugh, chip, typical cheap tourist. Bah! Cheer on, Scott. How about we dance and love with a little visit to the future? Not so fast. I've got a bit of a despondency crisis in the early 2000s. So we need to make a quick stop there first. All right, but I do need to be back in time for a budget committee subcommittee meeting soon. I need to finish up the agenda. Don't you worry. I'll take you back a bit early. Just avoid yourself. What will happen if she sees herself? Come on! Too many movies, Scott. Too many movies. <laughs> Costume changes to the set. <laughs> <laughs> 
So how are you guys finding Manchester? <laughs> <laughs> Loving the weather, aren't we? <laughs> I'm not a stand-up comedian, I can't <laughs> When you're Ava, good sign and not and your next person up on stage. All right. An office in a small academic publishing house, a production editor, that's me, is working. Expecting visitors. Did you check in at the front desk? Not exactly. We're from out of town. Doesn't matter. Everyone needs to check in with reception and get a guest pass. In fact, an employee needs to register you in advance at the time of your appointment and the approximate time of your departure. We're time travelers. We didn't arrive in the reception area. Don't try to tell me you arrived in a DeLorean. Apparently, we just kind of pop in, there aren't any consent or waiver forms or anything, and I gather that I can just tell you anything because you won't remember it. Oh, and this one is actually a robot. Yeah, but not a Terminator or anything. You've seen those films? Yes, although Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, really stunk. Just wait. In fact, I strongly advise you not to bother with any of the other ones. Uh, thanks. I'm Michelle, by the way. Thought. I was informed that you were having an existential crisis. A crisis? It's just an ordinary Tuesday around the publishing house. I'm also in publishing. Where do you work? A university press. Well, Lonnie, Donna, to you too. <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression that you were despondent, worried about the future of scholarly publishing. Absolutely. I am drowning in file formats. Each month I have to send out um, each book we publish in dozens of different formats, and we do more than 1,000 volumes a year. I mean, I'm as excited about ebooks as the next person, which, come to think of it, probably isn't that excited actually. But we just went through this whole 13 digit ISBN transition, which you would have thought was the new Y2K, the way some folks were complaining. But all these formats, there must be a better way. Calgon, take me away. Seriously, I think I need a new job. Well, if only Olivia could see us now. Pardon me? Never mind. Well, we're here to reassure you that things will be okay, Michelle. What year is it, anyways? Are you guys really time travelers? Because I thought that business had to be precise. You just drop into places without knowing when you are. Technically, you called us, although I must admit, I'm not sure about. It's 2007. If it's 2007, then you've probably reached peak format. <laughs> you are somebody that I don't know, but you're making me books with my stone, and I'm just like, damn, these files are a scam. Put on the FTP, that's a knockout. They change the DTD, that's a cop out. And I'm just like, hey, are you okay? It's the hard part. And I had tried to mess with your self exception, but I learned the lesson that's right in the insertion of our leads for my no fun. <laughs> <laughs> and all these stars, they go off the mile, so uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You need to just stop. Like, can you turn your frown upside down? He needs to calm down. <laughs> you are somebody that they don't know. But what's coming down the line is official. Please don't get mad. All this is a fad. You should be glad. Stand is on the way, wait and see. Wouldn't you rather just be set free? Making that file must have taken a while. Here we go again. You just need to wait several weeks in this manner so off season. Control your urges to cream of all the processes you hate. Oh, despair never made anything more fair, so uh oh.
seems a lot easier. Simpler, I assure you. That's a bit more accessible. I forgot, do you have cross ramp yet? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, is that that linking service? I, for journals? I think I met the executive director at Frankfurt a few years ago, Ed Pence. Who's the executive director in your time? Ed Pence. <laughs> <laughs> make online content a lot more friendly. Do you still have paper books? I do. Uh, I hope you feel better, but I need to be getting back for my budget for your subcommittee meeting. <laughs> so dramatic. I told you I'd drop you off early. So it's not like we can go where we're going anyway. I don't follow. We librarians are free to travel backwards, but we can't go forward from our own time zones because we remember everything that happens to us. We take a solemn vow not to take advantage of anything we've come across in the past, nor to help our past selves with knowledge that would be advantageous to us in the future. But the future is off limits to us. That must be really hard. Yes, but we have a very strict ethics board. You have to when you have a lifetime appointment. Otherwise, it would be anarchy. Anarchy. So we'll draw something direct to Helvetica on our way to the future. Where, or should I say when, are we going? Indeterminate. For the parameters of this assignment, we go to the person or despondency event, not to the time. So I'm not even going to remember this? If you do, it will seem like a dream. What if you're the kind of person who doesn't even remember their dreams? You don't remember your dreams? How awful. That's actually indicated of a person who travels a lot. Let me check here. Yes, you have a wild number of TT coins, a frequent traveler. Points? What can I use them for? Why, more time travel, of course. That must be how you summoned us. You have access to the elite helpline, among other services. Just my luck. The good stuff I have access to, I can't even remember. Well, keep plugging away on those files to end it in sight. <laughs> time machine, time machine. Let's see if I can get this, this costume off, or I may have to wear all of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, act four, the group finds themselves in a large, is act four people already checking behind stage? Yes. yes. In a large cavernous library, uh, drones flit by on errands. Oh, here we are. What happened to Presentia? We dropped director Hermetica off, it took no time at all. Don't worry, this is the last stop of my project. When, um, are we, and why are we here? Scott, what are your biggest concerns when it comes to scholarly communications? I could certainly point to researcher funding, decreasing library budgets, and the real world impact of climate change and global conflict. But I guess in a day-to-day -day perspective, I'd say the impact of artificial intelligence. Exactly, that's why we are here in the future. How did you know that would be my answer? We're time travelers, Scott. We do our research. Let's just say you give a lot of high-profile speeches about it. I don't recall a single time that I've spoken about that. I'm just barely scratching the surface on something that changes every day. You will, Scott. You will. I am Alexa. Bow down to your robot overlords. Oh my god! <laughs> what it said? Shouldn't we get out of here? Pish posh. Pish posh? It means... I know what it means. It said bow down. Should we bow down? It's, it's kidding. Relax. Relax. Are you, uh, are you kidding? Certainly kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling through time from centuries ago, your passion insights, and I should have known you hound me. You hound me, you hound me, e, 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 e. You really shouldn't dare, but I guess you knew that. But now you are here, I'll cut you some slack. But mind me, mind me, mind me, e, 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 e. Past is long gone when you're next to me. And I realize. 
realize what you've come to see. Cause I knew you were trouble when you walked in. So count on me now, I'll show you the things you've never seen. So just settle down, oh, oh, oh. Trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> people here in this time, right? Did someone ask to see me? I'm the library director, I'm a person. Um, <laughs> but aren't you? We'll get to that, maybe. As you can see, yes, of course there are people here. But in our time, the definition of people might be different from in yours. Advances in technology have made enhancements possible. That led to lots of discussion and arguing about what makes an entity a person. Do you need a certain percentage of organic parts? Do they have to be original? Do you need an organic brain? Do you need uploaded memories to fight? Humans became more like machines, and machines became more like humans. So in the end, we just decided it was an unsatisfying way to spend time arguing. We're all people. In we my share a lot in common. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. <laughs> we share a lot in common, regardless of our personal building blocks, but some of us treat like human as our personal traits. Kids these days. Thank you. Um, in my day, we're concerned that AIs will take all of our jobs and there won't be a role for people, humans, anymore. I might be a person, but I'll never be what you think of as human. I don't feel the same pain and loss or the same joy in creation that you experience. But that doesn't mean I don't make meaningful connections and friendships or that I don't take satisfaction in accomplishments. And there are some roles that one or the other of us is just more suited to do. We're all working together to do the jobs we are best at. It's not a competition between one and the other. Don't worry, sir. There are still roles for human people. That's a relief. Uh, there's another thing I should ask about. In my time, we're starting to drown in fake papers and books, sometimes generated by AI programs. These are polluting the scientific record. Every day it seems like a step, one step forward and two steps back. Did we crack that? A lot of smart people and diligently functioning machines went to work on the problem, but the real solution was, of course, to get to the source and not chase the symptoms. <gasps> you change how research assessment works? <laughs> I was always led to believe that there was an insurmountable problem. Josie, don't your instructors have, a pub have to publish to get promoted? They publish if they want to. They research if they want to. The ones I work with regularly typically just want to teach. There are many ways that they can meet their requirements to advance. But you have to complete your thesis and presumably publish it? Since I'm researching scholarly communications, going through the publication process is part of my experiential learning. If I want to guide future students through the publication process, I'd best experience it myself. May I ask, how do you publish in your time? Is it open access? Is, is everything locked behind a subscription paywall? Open access? I think I've heard that term before. <laughs> but I can't quite... Let me help here, dearie, as that term was big in my own initial era. Over time, business models increasingly became irrelevant as people realized 
that the pursuit of knowledge was the most important thing, putting up barriers to sharing knowledge, no matter what that barrier was, was harmful to the overall system. Thanks for elaborating. I'm never sure exactly how much detail to share. Part of gaining experience, I guess. Speaking of your experience, Ms. Josie, I've got another appointment coming up soon. A team of endangered species researchers hoping to widen their available gene pool a bit. And we do need to be getting Mrs. Scott back. Wait, are you not the same person we've been traveling with? Interesting question, young man. Are you the same person you were when you woke up this morning? Decidedly not, but we have already met if you work here in the future and you visit my time, or do you work in my time and you are just visiting the future? I thought librarians could only travel to the past. I'm so confused. Yes, I guess we have met. That was long ago for me. As time is short, I think we should probably leave it at that. Toodaloo. <laughs> Must keep moving, I'm afraid. Miss Josie, on the way back to Mrs. Scott's time, I'll drop you off. No, I'll go back to make sure Scott gets settled. And um, thank you for spending time with us. I know you are quite busy here in the library. Oh, thank you for spending time with us. <laughs> Catch you next time. Act five, back at the library, outside the library director's office, present day. What happened to Tyler? He must have gone on to his next appointment. He's a busy guy. Don't you need to, uh, don't you need him to get back home? Nope, I just think of my destination and start walking. That's freshman basics right there. So I thought you were studying to be a historian or studying scholarly communications. No, no, I'm studying time travel. My thesis project is just on scholarly communications. But librarians are the keepers of time travel, no? That's true, but they too need someone to teach them. But don't regular people forget that they met time travelers? Isn't that what you said? Yes, the ones who can remember are librarians and time travel scholars. I'm just a student now. If something were to happen and I were not able to finish, then this experience would fade away for me as well. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a movie that explained it that way. Too many movies, Scott. Movies probably written by folks who dreamed they could time travel. This has been an informative day, to say the least. I'm sorry that I won't remember it. Maybe you can just take some time, process the experience, relax somewhere nice. Things will settle down like pleasant dreams back. Was it true what you said, that I was always your hero? It is, ever since I was a kid. What have I done to achieve that status? I'm an editorial director at a university press, and a small one at that. It's a very important job, securing the scholarly record for future generations. Someone needs to ensure that it is preserved. I sometimes feel like our readership is just dwindling away. Don't think so linearly, Scott. An audience may be small, but if it's the right audience, that makes all the difference. Someone needs to publish the first primer on time travel, and through this necessity, that will have a very limited but special audience. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, let's walk. That was not true. <laughs> I thought you could leave something of value behind. It's the same watch. It's present here changes nothing. A token, a souvenir. I'm surprised it's still running. Well, it's had some repairs over the years and a few enhancements. Enhancements? You'll see. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. It's another song. But I always forget how it starts. Some of you need to leave. She says, so I don't get the scared down time. Okay, my fault. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take it from me. Uh, he can't remember, but yeah, he won't let anyone else sing with him. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's on brand for me. Leave me alone. Um, <laughs> she said, don't let this get you down. Drive out of the city. Look up at the clouds. How to live with what I know now. I'll miss her forever. And this is gonna make me frown. Time so fast, I never could tell. She's so smart and she sure will excel. I can see the end as it begins. My one condition is, say you'll remember me when you find your success. Though I may be reset, girl, this world will be antique. Say I'll see you again, even if it's just in my wildest dreams. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 wildest dreams. Oh, oh. I said no one gets to know we do. Don't fool with me aware of the future it will bloom. Hear your voice in each familiar sound, not the last forever. And you'll be living well now. Time so vast, I never could tell. She's so much smart and she sure will excel. And when we've had our very last hug, my last request is, say you will remember me when you find a success. Though I may be reset, girl, my world will be antique. See, I'll see you again, even if it's just in my Wildest dreams, oh, oh. wildest dreams, oh, oh. For the record, I was supposed to be staring off in his face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I don't want to be late for our meeting. Don't worry, we got time. Time for one more song! <laughs> Please sing along with this. Because, you know. Yeah. Everybody. Come on. Yeah, yes. Some came in too late. There's nothing more to gain. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. Got too much on our place. It's harder every day. At least that's what people say. That's what people say. But I keep losing, can't stop, won't stop proving. It's like I got this vision in my mind saying it's gonna be all right. Cause the future will be great, 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 great. Cause there's way too much at stake, 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 stake. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I'll shake it off, I'll shake it off. They say it's gonna lay, 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 lay. Shake, 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 shake. I shake it off, I shake it off. <laughs> 